What is up, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Prodigy, coming to you live to talk about the upcoming MLB pitcher slate. So, what I wanted to do was go over pitchers basically on tonight's slate. There is one pick that I, I want y'all to go lock in as quickly as possible because there's a basically a 90% chance this guy hits the win. So the one I wanted to talk about before I break everybody down is Tyler Glasnow versus Michael Wacha. Tyler Glasnow is at a plus and minus zero. So this is just a straight up bet uh, on a head-to-head. Give me Tyler Glasnow or Michael Wacha any day in this matchup. Yes, the Mets offense is pretty decent, but at a plus and minus zero, Versus Michael Walker, who is not as a good pitcher to Tyler Glass now. Go lock that pick in as quickly as possible. Because <laughs> that is my favorite one. So while we're down here, let's start from the bottom to the top. Julio Urias versus Shane Mana. So both of these offense are pretty good. Julio is not as good as Sean Mania, but... The Dodgers offense is what I'm worried about. So I'm pretty much staying away from that matchup because there is so many pitchers on this slate that you can play around with. So stay away from that one. <laughs> Carlos Martinez versus Danny Duffy. I personally like Carlos Martinez, but that's not one of my favorites. So again, kind of staying away from that one. Kenta Maeda versus Casey Miz. That negative 15.5 is way too big for me to like. So I'm just staying away from that matchup. Trust me, guys. There's going to be pitchers we like. I'm just staying away from these bottom three. Nathan Avaldi versus Dean Creamer. Give me Nathan Avaldi at a negative 1.5. That's enough for me. So I'm liking that a lot versus Baltimore. I think Boston's offense comes out swinging. They're easily going to put up runs on the board and get Avaldi the win. Give me Nathan Avaldi. Max Freed versus Sixto Sanchez. So Sixto Sanchez didn't look good last game. He got you negative points. Max Freed has been pretty good this season. I like Max Freed, but be careful at that negative seven. Because Sixto Sanchez could come out looking really good like he has before. <coughs> Kyle Hendricks versus Trevor Williams. I personally like the Kyle Hendricks side. I think he gets the win. I think he gets the... Strikeout bonuses. Give me Kyle Hendricks. Yes, the negative 7.5 is a little swaying, but Trevor Williams is not a great pitcher whatsoever. Trevor Bauer versus on Adrian Hauser. So that negative 13's pushing me away from that. Yes, Trevor Bauer is the better pitcher out of the two, but Hauser is not that bad of a pitcher that people think he is. So I'm staying away from that. Robbie Waver. Robbie Ray versus T- Tanaka. So there's not a plus or minus on this one. So give me Mar- give me Tanaka. Okay, so Robbie Ray has not looked good this season like he normally does. Th- Robbie Ray is a type of pitcher who is either going to get you strikeouts like above six in a matchup or he's going to get you nothing and put up runs. <laughs> so give me Tanaka. And that better, way better offense. Wait, I skipped over Zach Greinke. Okay, so Zach Greinke versus Markovich. Okay, so Zach Greinke is obviously the better pitcher out of the two. It's easily known that Zach Greinke is going to get you the win. He's going to get you everything you need in this matchup. But it's a negative 16. That's what's scary. Because we've seen Kyle Gibson come out and pitch a gym versus Houston. So be careful with that. I'm staying away. Alex Young versus Wes Benjamin. I like Alex Young. Yes, the negative eight's a little bit scary, but he's obviously the better pitcher out of the two. I think that Wes Benjamin's not ready for this whatsoever. He's Alex Young is a proven pitcher. Give me Alex Young. So the one pitcher duel that I'm really liking tonight is Shane Beaver, Shane Beaver versus Lucas Giolito. So both offenses are pretty consistent. They have power bats. I'm personally liking Shane Beaver, but be careful because Giolito could come out as the better pitcher. 
Both these guys are highly respected pitchers. Two of the best pitchers in the game right now. Be careful with this matchup. So because of that, I'm not playing that. Zach Offlin versus Eric Fetty. Again, two really good offenses, but two pitchers that are just not that great. So it's all about the run support on the bat side. Stay away from that one. Mike Clevenger versus Jamie Barrera. That negative 15.5, I'd try to stay away from high from those high numbers. I don't like that. So I'm staying away. So like I said, guys, we got six picks, basically. We got the favorite in Tyler Glass now over Michael Walker. Go lock that pick in right now as fast as possible. Nathan Avaldi over Dean Creamer. Max Freed over Sixto Sanchez. Kyle Hendricks over Trevor Williams. Tanaka over Robbie Ray. Alex Young over Wes Benjamin. And that will wrap that up. So like I said, guys, we got six picks. Go lock in Tyler Glass now. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be pushing out more and more content as we speak. If I had to pick the two picks to do a parlay with, it would be Nathan Navaldi and Tyler Glass now. So I would parlay those two for sure. But other than that, guys, that pretty much wraps up the pitcher slate for today. Again, hit that like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for everything. And thank you all for watching this. I hope everybody has a safe and fun-filled day. Let's see those screenshots of the green screens. Thank you, guys, and have a good one.